Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Hitesh and in this video, I will show you the best alternative of XSS Hunter which will help you find blind XSS smoothly. Well, before getting into the video, let me tell about what blind cross-site scripting is. So blind XSS is a type of stored XSS where the payload that you have injected into the application gets stored in a database or log file, which when obviously accessed by any internal agent like admin or any developer gets executed and perform the action that you have defined in the payload. When we talk about blind XSS injection, uh, XSS Hunter is the best tool that we use to actually get the callback. So as you can see, I'm in the XSS Hunter page in the dashboard and it has re uh, like the notice as the XSS Hunter service is being depreciated from February 1st, 2023. So this is the creator. He is a creator of XSS Hunter and he has officially tweeted that to continue or to utilize the XSS.ht subdomain post depreciation, all users have to take some action. And it describes how you can actually set that up and how you can uh, use that XSS.ht subdomain to get your XSS popped up in the admin panel and get some obviously couple of bounties but what if i tell you there is a very awesome great uh, tool that uh, is actually replacing xss hunter and with some additional functionality so let us get directly into that bxss hunter so bxsshunter.com is the new tool that is developed by the company named cyber explorer and I have personally talked to this, uh, the developer of this particular tool, and I will tell you some more features that is coming up in future releases. But now let's get into this video and get started. So BXSS Hunter is actually the same as the similar tool like XSS Hunter, but with some additional functionality and with some additional uh, things that that will help you in your XSS hunting journey. Okay. Let us start with registering an account. Go to register, fill your details, and create an account. I've already did that. I'll directly go to login. I'll use my credential and once you are logged in, uh, you can see uh, you, this is the dashboard. They have one more uh, very good feature that I like is this feed. So anyone post anything about XSS. It will render here also in Twitter. Obviously, if there is any kind of, uh, they are actually trying to fetch this kind of tags, hashtags, and they are uh, giving a link to Twitter as well. If you want to view in Twitter, you can directly go and see that. Okay, so this is uh, quite a good tool. And let's go back to the dashboard. Now let me just show you some interface so you can go to settings you can choose your photo you can use your details like this and you can also uh, input your github linkedin hacker one buck crowd any details that that you might want to give uh, and as part of security you can change your passwords here from notification you can use all this to get any customized email from the creators and this is a very good thing that i saw so the notification uh, once you get an xss fired you will get a notification in your email id that is by default enabled but you can choose slack and discord as well so if you have any slack or discord channels then yes you can integrate that to get notification there also uh, you can also uh, input your static javascript xss payload and you can use this uh, configuration to use inside your xss under payloads you can go to uh, this bxss center and in payload you can get a huge range of payload that is already available uh, in xss center they will be putting more payload as well as as this tool get more features and as you can see they have created one subdomain with bxss dot in uh, and with the username that uh, I have used during my registration. You can use these payloads. 
just copy it and you can go and use it recently i used this tool to use it on testphp.vulnweb.com and you can see it got a xss fired and it, it so captured the screenshot you can see the markdown as well like the source code it is already available other than that you can create a vulnerable report okay vulnerability report and that is already in markdown so you just have to copy it and you have to report it very easy you can delete it from here also collected page so as of now i have no collected page but let us alpha i'll show you one example we'll go to brute logic ox.html i will use this first one and i'll input the payload that i've collected here okay all right now if you find it it will say it is actually executed okay you might get an if you come to dashboard as you can see we have got two accesses fired this is the email id and as you can see it reported in my email that access is fired on root logic this particular url the execution origin ip whatever it is okay so this is pretty much that you can do with this tool other than that let i'll, I'll show you how you can actually integrate your discord and uh, slack to get notification and you can check all the accesses fires here as you can see i have got to this one as well and if you just see the markdown the source code here and if you copy it and you, you can actually render it or save in html file and send it uh, to the program that you are reporting you can also generate a markdown report which you can send it to directly to the program so this is uh, the markdown report it will generate with all the details like url cookies if it has but this target is not uh, like authenticated so that is why we are not getting any cookies a referrer user agent uh, and everything that is possible you can also get from here it also describes an uh, generic impact and re remediation steps the recommendation to actually mit mitigate this issue so you just have to copy it you can do it from copy to clipboard as well can go to a markdown uh, markdown editor go to this online markdown editor paste your uh, md uh, like markdown text and it will render your report here something like this this is how you can uh, do it also there is one more awesome feature that you can use uh, so you can actually create your can create your tips from here you can create your tip and you can submit for approval from the backend once uh, it is approved you can see all your tips like uh, is, if it is pending or rejected state or if it is already approved so you can see here and uh, everyone can see your once once it is approved obviously you can uh, everyone can see your feed here so if you go to accesses feeds so as you can see you'll uh, your name will be displayed and uh, your tips that you have given it will also display all right so this is how pretty much you can do now let us go to the integration part notification and connected services i'll create a slack i'll create a discord one first let us enable it and if you go to discord i've created the server and with this go to integrations to create a webhook and you can change the name as well pxss notification okay it will you can change the channel also for now let us keep it general i'll copy the webhook url save changes go to this url and i'll paste it i'll save now let me fire another xss here let me copy the payload from here this payload 
I'm sorry. Yeah. Use the same payload now. And this is fast. I mean, you will get the fire as soon as possible. As you can see, I've got three fires. You can see I've got a fire. Okay. So this is how you can actually do it. Let me go to Slack now. So to create an app, so you have to go to api.slack.com/slash apps. Now create an app for Slack notification and it will help you to get notification in Slack as well. So they have two integrations so far and uh, they are planning to have more integration in future. I will come to that at the end of this video and let me create from scratch. App name will be BXSS notification. Okay. Bug bounty automation is the workspace that I am currently using, and I will select incoming webhook. I will on it and I will just do it in bug bounty and I will copy the webhook URL and i will use the same thing in connected services webhook url notification save the changes has been saved now let us grab the payload again this one go to bx uh, like brute logic xss page i think it it got one more we have got the notification here. Now let us check in Slack also. We might have got the notification. See, so we have got the notification here as well. The vulnerable page, the execution origin, and the user IPs, uh, like IP address and all. So these are something that uh, is actually possible with uh, BXSS Hunter. And you can, this is pretty much all about uh, the BXSS Hunter. It is kind of very good alternative that you can find uh, in the market uh, and it is recently released so the new features will be there will be an chrome extension that is uh, that they are planning to bring up and they will bring up another tool that will be crawling all the urls in a website and it will try to input all the i mean payloads what they will be defining and accordingly it will give you xss results so Stay tuned for that and until then, have a good day.